Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Mary Jo from Enchantress Tarot. This is our Aquarius February 2019 reading. And it's for Aquarius Sun, Moon, Ascendant, even North Node or Stellium, so you're Aquarius-centric. Maybe it resonates with you because not every reading resonates with everyone. And you know, you're as unique as a fingerprint. So just because you're an Aquarius sun sign doesn't mean everyone's going to get the reading. You can look back into the um, other signs if you know where your moon is or ascendant and see if that resonates. Or even go through the old videos from a couple of years ago to now. Whatever you're drawn to or attracted to, listen to what it says. Maybe it's going to speak to you right now. So we're going to see what you're going to grow through in February, all right? It's a five-card spread for 2019 for Aquarius and Aquarius-centric people. <clears throat> We just came off the last of the Leo Aquarius nodal polarities, that full moon, lunar eclipse. So things were in shadow. If you haven't seen that video, I have them up both for the Cancer in January and uh, because the Cancer North Node and now it's Capricorn South Node has kicked in in December, but we still ended off with the last of the Leo Aquarius polarity. So this could affect all of us, but especially you for six months because of that polarity. So let's see. What are you going to evolve and work through this month? You're looking at a lot of things that have culminated in your life. You put a lot of work. Maybe you raised a lot of children. You put them through college or vocational trade school or paid for a wedding. You know, you did a lot of work here. You know, you were very diligent in what you did. Maybe if you had to save some money or do without, you had to work very hard and didn't have a lot of time for yourself. Or maybe, you know, you stashed some money away so you could take some nice vacation or do some nice things, buy a house. You know, this is a time to reap the profits of it. So now you're reviewing everything and saying, all the work I did in this and everything of my life that I've nurtured into this project, person or situation, it's time for me to reap the benefits. And you see like the squirrel on top, you know how they save their nuts for the winter and they stash it away. So for some of you, maybe you've been very responsible in putting money away or you have some money put away and you're looking to do something nice and you're seeing like, uh, well, after, you know, pulling the fruit from the tree, if you will, was it worth all the work I put into this? Do I have enough? What did I miss? What can I go back and review? So putting it into a snapshot of your life, if it is about something tangible because it's the pentacles, it's something earthly, you know, the bells and whistles of life, if it's nice jewelry, a nice car, a nice house, a vacation, whatever it is, put it into that perspective that it's time for you to, um, time to, to culminate and pull from uh, your resources and, and see at the end of the day, after I cleared everything, planted seeds, loved, fertilized, nurtured it, is this the outcome I wanted? with this person in this relationship, this marriage, this friendship, the school I went to, the vacation, the job, the trade I chose. Am I happy with this? Is this really, really the sweetness of the fruit that I've been waiting for? You know, so this is a time that you're going to be reviewing this here. Now, the seven is that enlightening number. You know, like Aquarius is an air sign. It's that genius that comes in from above enlightenment. So here it's like you're making a stand for yourself and really looking clearly and logically at this and seeing if you're reaping the profits of it. All the hard work in your relationship. Maybe it's a health issue. Anything you, you want. Maybe you're saying, look, it's ready for me to downsize. I want to retire now. You know, you're starting to review things this month and really look hard at it. Um, now, yes, this is health and wealth. It's vocation or trade for me too. So this could be anything to do also with the medical field, agriculture, horticulture, even if you do a trade with your hands, something that, you know, maybe you're a Reiki or a licensed massage therapist, you know, or a nurse, someone who nurtures and cares for people. You know, you could be a welder. See, something you do with your hands. Is this giving you the rewards that you've been looking for after you've worked so hard in this situation or relationship? It might have been very tiring for you because you're coming to an end of a cycle. Now, we did have the end of the Leo Aquarius cycle, right? On January 20th, it actually was the sun ingressed into your sign of Aquarius. So whatever's been going on that's been causing you some mental grief, and you are, you are mental realm, will be lifting. Now, some decks show it's actually through the purse, and it's bloody. It really was a ordeal. But this wasn't that much of an ordeal, but, you know, it's a minor arcana. It, it was enough 
to weigh heavily on your mind, you know, and maybe it took away some of your empowerment, you know, um, maybe after the last six months, because you're coming up to that last polarity of Aquarius and Leo too, that you felt a real wallop around the holidays or just before your birthday. And now you're starting to recover from it. You know, and like I tell you, the stag is someone in spirit watching out for you in the family or friends, you know, watching out for you, maybe even your guide. But it's, it's talking about this is going to be lifting from you. You're entering a new cycle now. Hopefully you have rebooted off of this last eclipse where things were in shadow and didn't come to light for you or were revealed. You know, some people lost a family member or broke up a relationship or ended something they were doing all the time, you know, that they said, well, this is, this is my mantra. I'm going to, you know what? No, I'm not going to. I'm going to change it. This was my program I was running. Well, I'm not going to run that program anymore. I'm starting a new program. You know, the patterns I had in my life, this is ending this. And we like that for you with this 10 energy, starting it. You really need to start to empower yourself. Now, we don't want you to get cocky, you know, like especially Aquarius. Their mantra is, I know. You know, if you know Aquarians, everything is, I know, I know. We want you to be um, growing through that edge of your mental realm where you're making logical, clear-cut choices. Um, that you keep yourself empowered, but keep in touch with spirit too. You know, there's progress going on in your life right now. Things are moving toward the future for you. Um, and it will be this lifting. Okay, wow. Here's the star. Look at that. That's Aquarius in the Tarot. They're speaking right to you. This is a major arcana. Or these are minors. They're little things in life that happen. This is a big growth edge for you. Now with the star, we're talking about healing from some ordeal you've been going through. You know, maybe there was a stressful situation that's been weighing on your, your life for many years. And how has it been affecting you and your relationship maybe with your family, your friends, your husband, your wife? It, it's been really impossible or, you know, it's been weighing on you you know, and draining you. So this is this really healing your mental realm. Maybe you had a lot of stress going on with something in, in your life the last few years, you know, like worrying about the kids with college, how are you going to pay for this um, car or, you know, oh, they need this and all these different things. We're talking about having patience right now because help is coming for you. This is going to be improved situations in your life. And I'm going to tell you it's a major healing healing you from stresses that you've been going through, or even your body being drained, whatever you've been going through emotionally, this is when spirit steps in. This is healing your heart, your improved health, dreams being fulfilled. Even healing things with your hope. Maybe you've lost hope, or you haven't been wishing for what you want because you've been so distracted by you know, money and, and needs and, and things with your business. This is the inspiration you're needing and that spiritual renewal. You know, when the soul offers the ego up, you know, for cleansing, you know, and this is great love between you and spirit being given and received, or even in your friends and family, your marriage if you're married, your relationships with other people. This is your wishes coming true. Keep wishing on your star because if it's really important to you, you won't give up. If it's not that important, you'll stop wishing. So just be patient, helps on the way. It might not be that fast or that easy, but there are some calm warnings. You're immersed spiritually. See, this is the water spiritually, emotionally. You're immersed in these waters and you're rejuvenating yourself. See how she takes the water up and pours it back in, but metaphorically it nourishes and nourishes the earth to grow things. And what grows feeds all the life of the earth, but yet it biodegrades and we all die and the cycle goes back into the earth, into the waters. See, this is your renewed energy, spiritually, healing from an addiction, from drugs, bad relationships, stress in your home life, at work, you know, your business. This is the healing you want to. So immerse yourself right now into these waters of life and let them purify and cleanse you. You have that enlightenment you see in the third eye there that everything is working toward a new beginning for you. Now, things may be coming up from the past for you. Maybe you're going to be doing some reminiscing and clearing out, like going through things from the past. This is very nostalgic, but the things you have to release. And I'm sorry, but you know what the eclipse is? It's about releasing for all of us. So this is going through 
the closets of your mind, the closets of your heart, your body, your soul, and the physical world. Emptying the garage, the attic, the basement, the closets. This is going through old pictures and photographs, memorabilia, jewelry, tangible things too that you were emotionally attached to with a loved one, a friend. This is a clearing out, but it's, it's six is the balance. So it's about like you're reminiscing in these nostalgic things and it's nice and you feel good about it. it. It's not painful for you, but it's something you need to revisit right now. And like I said, with this Aquarius and Leo polarity ending, you'll think back of 19 years ago, what happened in your life during that last ecliptic. What did you do then? How did you handle what was going on? Did it work? Is it gonna work for you now? Or do you need new tools to deal with this situation? It's a nice revisiting, but it's also a releasing and letting go to restore yourself to harmonic balance because you've been out of sorts for a while. Now, for some of you, it's a love relationship. It could be someone coming from the past back into your life you haven't seen since high school or college um, and reminiscing. It doesn't always, but it can mean a renewed love relationship. Let's say if you had problems with your husband, boyfriend, girlfriend, uh, you're going to revisit that. I'm not saying it's going to work out, but there could be some healing going on and you're going to revisit what's nostalgic to you and see if emotionally your cups are being filled here. Um, some of you too could be coming off of a healing from a toxic relationship that you've been having a pattern of, you know, it goes back. If you think back of what triggers you to attract yourself to these bad situations with negative people, shadow, side, and you want to be uh, clear about this and, and, and sensitive to it and saying, is this really authentic in my life? Or is this, this is just dissonance and I keep bringing it in and I need to tune into a new frequency emotionally, putting my heart center in something loving to bring it to me. Or, you know, even reflecting back on where you did feel pleasure in your life as a child or in a situation that's not there now that you want to revisit what you were doing then and put it in play in your life now as a new program for you to bring back some harmonic balance emotionally and in your life. Because you might be vacillating and choosing between some things here. Like even here, you started with the pentacles. You're doing it here. Here's your full moon. Things are being revealed to you now where things were in shadow, right? When you had the eclipse, things are going to be illuminated. Your ship's coming in. There are calm waters for you. You've got what you've got in your life. Be grateful for what you have, even though you're already envisioning something else. Your new now, next person, place, thing, job, adventure, cycle, alignment. These are the things that we go through in life because otherwise we'd be bored. You know, even when the times are really tough for us, we're growing. You know, this is energy that's in motion. The universe is always in flux. This is you being in motion here and figuring things out in your life right now. You're solid. And again, we've got this water that you're immersed in and then here, water and earth. So you're bringing together your spiritual energy, your mental realm, and the physicality of things. So uh, whatever's in hand, if it's this relationship, you're looking to mend it. Um, money, finances, your business, you see how it's pointing above and then below. So you're looking to manifest into your life things you know there is set in motion it's it's not there yet but it's 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 coming you know here it's above you want this pentacle below bringing it so you're looking up here see above and this part is below so keep wishing and dreaming and hoping for this thing that you're looking for to manifest into your life so that it will come to you in a sense of a calm knowing that the past you know, is the past. It doesn't need to be here now. This is future progress, especially Aquarius, progressive, very new, um, like computer technology. It's obsolete by the time it's out, right? This is Aquarian energy, laser-like precision with thought, focus. Not everybody is, like as an Aquarius. Like I said, there could be other things convoluting you in your chart, but you're looking right now to set the sights on what this thing is that you want to manifest in your life. And it seems like it's something very tangible and earthly uh, that you're looking for. But remembering to get to this point and bring it to ground, you need to work on this. Releasing the ego, cleansing the past, breathing in a balanced energy from spirit, you know, bringing in from universe through your crown chakra, okay, and through your third eye, through your body, your prana, 
and grounding it to Gaia and get that circuit going again. So you will be able to focus on the things that you want with clarity and knowing that they're coming. You don't have to keep looking for it, standing on the show. Where is it? Come on, you got another 100 feet. Don't do that. Just put it out there to the universe and know that it's coming to you and keep focusing on it. So it's some energy for you to work on. It's not very intense. There's some releasing and reviewing. You're going to be going into retrospect here uh, before you move forward. And, and that's, that's pretty much it, you know, with the, the nodes that were happening for Leo and Aquarius. It was your time over 18 months to do that review. All of us to review those things in our natal charts and in our lives. So it affects everyone differently. Some of you might not have felt this eclipse at all. Some of it was like a kick in the face. Some of you, it might have been, yeah, you know, so-so. Everybody's different. It's okay. Just know that the energy is going to go on for the next six months. And keep that in mind that during February, these are the goals you want to set for yourself and be clear about it. Well, enjoy February. If you celebrate Valentine's Day, please enjoy yourself. And if you don't, do something nice for yourself anyway. And I'm wishing you love, love, love. And as always, I'm wishing you the best.